Hey, what's up guys, it's Henry Neal here, and today we'll be taking a look at Infinix first phone for the year 2021, and that's the Infinix Hot 10 Play. It's an entry-level device from Infinix, but we're going to be checking out what this device comes with, and if this is something you should consider. If this is the first time you're on my channel, a sub to the channel would be most awesome, and if you really love this video, a like to this video would be most appreciated. Let's get started. So taking a look at the box here, it's the same Infinix style box that we get year in, year out. And I'm just gonna read out some of the specifications that you have on this phone here. We've got a phone here with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, two gigabytes of RAM, 6,000 milliamp hour battery, comes with Android 10 Go edition, an eight megapixel front facing camera with flashlight. And we've also got a dual camera setup at the back of this device consisting of a 30 megapixel main camera with portrait AI and also a two megapixel depth sensing camera. You've got a phone with a 6.82 inch HD plus water drop display, comes in at a resolution of 720 by 1640 and it runs on the MediaTek Helio G25 processor. So this is very similar to the Samsung Galaxy A02 that you'll be seeing on my channel very soon and I'm going to be doing a comparison between both of these devices as well. So let's take a look at what the Infinix Hot 10 Play looks like. Straight up when you open this, the first thing you get in the box is the Infinix Hot 10 Play. We're going to set this aside and take a look further down. So in the first compartment, you got a customer service card, a scene ejector tool, you got some registration pamphlets here, you got a transparent, flimsy screen protector. Nice time they included this. So there's a dollar bill in the box. I think it's a gold card from the X Club that's owned by Infinix. So when you go to the X Club online and you scan the QR code there, you can win up to $300 worth of um, stuff. So pretty good idea from Infinix there. And then you've got this nice looking plastic case. Put in the box, you've got that micro USB to USB A charging cable. And then you've got a pair of earphones. And then you've got a 10 watt charger in the box. All right, so this is a pretty hefty phone. It's got some heft to it and gives it that quite nice reassuring feel in your hands. And I'm sure that's because of that 6,000 milliamp power battery. I'm just gonna take off the back um, sticker there and wow I love the pattern design on this one looks absolutely brilliant I don't know if you can see this properly but man that's some really nice looking pattern to the back of this phone it's made from plastic you got a fingerprint sensor up the back there button and pop placements you've got your power and volume rockers to the right of the device you've got nothing at the top of the device at the bottom you've got that 3.5 millimeter earphone port uh, micro USB charging port and a microphone cutout. To the left you've got your SIM tray that consists of a dual nano SIM slot and a micro SD card slot all together in one bay. First impressions in the hand this is a really very big phone if you have small hands just forget about managing this phone with one hand. So who basically is this kind of device for? This is an entry-level smartphone so if you're going to be getting this device you're not looking for something with some super duper sexy looking design and stuff like that i mean the design here looks okay it follows that 2020 trend from infinix designs and i'm not complaining here and if you're going to be paying the amount you'll be paying for this phone i mean you should be absolutely happy with the design you get here don't expect anything super for the build quality it feels really good in hand i think that infinix did a really good job with how they built this one Again, I don't know why they had to put all of these circles here making you think that it has four cameras when it's just actually only two. But again, we're going to be testing these cameras out. Build quality is okay for the price and the fact that this is an entry level device, you should be absolutely fine with the way this device feels in hand. That screen, it looks okay for a 720p, although it's tad too big. I'd have preferred if they brought this down to six inches or 5.8 inches, that would have made it really feel good in the hand. I mean, a lot of people out there like compact phones and I, I think um, brands out there should be giving them compact phones. I know that the Infinix um, drive is to push out big phones with big screen because a lot of people there want to watch content on their phones, but sometimes you really need to just look at the other side of things uh, on how many people would appreciate a phone with a smaller screen with a 720p resolution. But I like the way it feels and I like the way it functions. I've been using this for about a week, thereabout 
now and I can say that the fluidity the way this phone works is quite decent thanks to that G25 the Helio G25 chip on this device makes things run pretty smoothly and the fact that this phone comes with the Android 10 Go edition makes things much better if they had put in the full Android I'm pretty sure you'd be struggling with a lot of things in here. But the Go Edition makes things a little bit smooth. Um, performance is not that bad. For gameplay on this device, if you're thinking of playing 3D games, it will play some of them pretty decently, but again, a lot of them you'd have stutters and you'd have things like lag when you're playing those games. In terms of the cameras on this device, they are average at best, again, entry level you'll be getting decent photos when you're in well lit environment i mean photos will turn out looking good and you can really post this uh, photos on instagram and social media platforms and you'll be absolutely fine with them guys if you have any question on the infinix hot 10 play please leave them down in the comment section of this video and i would get back to as much of them as i can if you really like this video and if it was helpful do hit that like button thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one